IIS 7 on Server Core. Since Windows 2008 came out with a lean mean fighting machine called Server Core, we've had a lot, and I mean a lot of requests here at Winstructor to tell you guys how to install IIS 7 on a Server Core machine. Well, the truth is this is going to be a short and sweet video since there's no easy way for me to be able to make this video really long without filling it with useless, unrelated information. So, here we are, we're at our server core command prompt. Now to install the IIS role on this server, all we need to do is enter in the following command. So, what we'll be doing here is using the start command with the slash w switch which instructs the following commands to execute sequentially. Now we'll be starting up the package manager application and we'll be using the slash i u switch and that'll specify the Windows feature that we want to enable. So here we're enabling the IIS web server role, the Windows activation service and the process model. And that's it really. If we hit enter it's going to go ahead and start installing a basic IIS 7 on this server core build. Now, once you've done that, if you want to try uninstalling it, to uninstall IIS 7, all we need to do is change this IU to a UU and then run the same command. And then IIS 7 will be uninstalled. Now, by the way, if you do want to perform a full installation of IIS 7 on Server Core, then this is the command that you'll want to enter in. Now since it's long, I'm not going to go through it, but it's basically the same as the previous one. We're starting our package manager with the IU switch, and then you can see all of these features that we're installing. But bear in mind, although this will install everything, the likelihood of you actually requiring a full installation like this is pretty small. So, personally, I wouldn't go ahead and run this command since it's going to install a bunch of things you probably don't really need. But again, if you want to uninstall IIS 7 after you've installed it with a command like this, just change the IU to a UU and that's pretty much it. So there you have IIS 7 on a server core installation. Now it's pretty easy to install as you've just seen. Obviously management of the server is going to be slightly more challenging since we don't have the IIS 7 GUI, but that's the price you pay for a leaner, faster server core build. So we hope you've enjoyed this video and would like to thank you for supporting Winstructor.